Welcome back to Elden Ring, everyone. Uh, I'm currently charging my controller, making me realize that this wire is not as long as I thought. Uh, I'm sort of in an awkward position here, so at least if I have any fails or deaths, I know what to blame it on. Welcome back to the Sorcerer Run. What we're going to be doing today is pretty much what we sort of talked about the last time around. We need to do the Grand Lift of Dectus thing uh, to unlock the Radon thing. And that's essentially the goal for today. Dectus thing, then go to the fort in Kaelid, and then, you know, move on from there. So, this area is actually fairly difficult. In terms of like the enemies, they have a lot of HP. God, that tracking. People shit on Dark Souls 2 all, all the time. For their tracking. Um, yeah, the enemies have a lot of HP here. Which only slightly makes me worried because I remember this place being very easy. The last time I was here. Ouch! Get parried. The parry does do a lot of damage though. So... Ooh, wait, wait a second. Can't you do that thing where... Because, see, what happens is, I don't think I ever mentioned this or shown it, but you can critical attack these Dalsim heads by jumping on top of them. And I've never managed to do it, but it's possible. So I thought that would be my opportunity. God, Roxling is so OP. Oh yeah, bitch. Okay, maybe oh yeah, bitch is in kind of correct. God, the poise. Why don't I have poise? People have been like, what the hell? They're, they're, they're like multiplying. Hold on. It's all good. Just stay cool. We got this. There are no issues. Not at all. Nice sidestep, though. Especially since they're gonna get parried. I tend to joke about it quite a bit, but... I do feel myself getting better at parrying. How did I think that was gonna hit? Okay, these things are not weak to magic at all. Maybe from the backside. Yeah, that's more like it. But I mean, fighting these things is a bit of a waste, honestly. So let's just move on. We don't need them doll sim heads here. So anyways, yeah, so once we have this unlocked, if I remember correctly, and I already forgot the article I read, is that you need both halves of the medallion to unlock the lift. I mean to unlock the portal to Radon, which is the thing I'm here for. Another path leading back to the foot of the earth tree, an ancient tunnel. This is one of those... Uh, I don't know if there is an actual path here down to the deep root depths, but it might be. It might be like right under us. All right, Melina. Let's have a discussion. I haven't seen her in quite a while. Her dialogue I'm willing to listen to. I mean, she's fairly important. Question is, I don't think, nah, nothing to do there. We will use them sacred tears. 
and I need one more golden seed, which I'm gonna take a look at how many stone sword keys I have. I have three. So you know what I'm thinking, right? There is a tunnel that I didn't go to, a dungeon, which requires two stone sword que keys. <laughs> two stone sword keys, indeed. Um, which we might just do if you want to see something new. So yeah, uh, anyways. In terms of this playthrough, uh, we're good on all fronts. Getting pretty OP. Uh, I'm gonna check out the dragons. How these dragons go. I know I could kill Greyroll or Greyol, whatever her name is. The only thing is that So what I'm trying to do is stunlock these dragons, see? That's what Rock Sling really is good for. Uh, the stunlocking it does is sort of amazing. Although these dragons deal, not deal mad damage, but they have mad HP. These they don't have any like breath attack. Look at how good it tracks. It's insane. It tracks insanely well. I'm just gonna show you the power of Rock Sling. And these enemies are dumbasses too. Whoa, that's why you need more HP. See, I'm telling you, man. Yep. And finish it off with a Loretta's Great Bow. Eat shit. Yeah, that was very anticlimactic. And yes, I did see it dealt 420 damage, which I do appreciate. How much do these guys draw? 3000. Oh man. Uh, sometimes I'm wondering whether it's even worth killing the enemies in this game. The effort versus runes ratio is just not there. It's probably why people have people have really devised some clever um, farming strats in this game. If you take a look, there are some incredibly OP farming strats in certain areas, and I think the reason for that could be in that farming never was a thing. I mean, there were farming spots in previous Souls games, but you never really needed to use them but in this game like I feel like the as I mentioned many times the amount of runes enemies give is so inconsistent that it's difficult to sort of predict I mean that guy had massive amounts of HP sure it's not difficult but it's a huge big dragon enemy and you get 3k runes like what the fuck Anyways, if there is an area I hate, it's this fucking fort. I died so many times here in this place. Uh, which might happen again. Because of these, like, bitch-ass bats. These things have, like, a sonic breath attack. It's absolutely insane. So I have no qualms about spamming them to death with magic. Oh, that's a strong one. That's the one that's a real motherfucker. The one that always killed me. It does poison. But now that its little minions are dead. Not much it can do, can it? Except do that, which is... a ridiculous attack. Yeah, come on, just... I mean... <laughs> what the hell? And there's two of them? Fuck, there's... Oh, you know what? 
hold on do I have a solution to this didn't it say that gravity magic knocks enemies out of the sky let's just give that theory a test because I do have gravity magic and I do like experimenting not on these weak bitches but on their bigger cousins there you are come on just get closer come out here ha eat shit bitch why do you have so much HP are you kidding me did you actually see it? Oh. But that is some... That is some tactics. Get down here. I, I kind of love this. <laughs> I'm kind of loving this. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, get down here. Lasts for a long time too. And then I could, yep, get the second stun. Told you. Told you. And that's just a weak one. Oh man, that felt... Am I poisoned? What? Unbelievable. I thought I was in the all clear. Get out of here. Get out of here. That's a strong one too. There's three of them. Oh, come on. Heal, heal, heal. Yeah. Fuck off. I mean, they do drop... Golden Rune Nines, which is fairly good. And like an actual decent amount of runes to counteract what I was saying. Uh, do I not have... How do I not have anything to counter poison? Don't ask me what... Don't ask me. That lasts for quite a while too. Anyways, at this point, we need to commit and get the rune. Not the rune, the medallion. There it is. That's all we're here for. I mean, there's some other stuff here. Nothing that really matters. Uh, we have the medallion and... Let me check. Does this work now? Or do you actually need to activate the lift? You need to activate the lift. Here we go. This is a pretty cool cutscene. Again, very reminiscent of Bloodborne. of the DLC of course which by the way I am going to replay Bloodborne on stream don't worry um, it's coming it's just summer you know that's one of the things like we get what like two and a half months of good weather three at most which translates to like eight weekends so and you know the weekdays are nice as well so I'm just trying to enjoy so I have a little less time or I'm spending a little less time indoors cool this should do it now 
Let's check it. It wasn't it. Uh, I'm an idiot. Uh, very important lesson on why you should actually read shit instead of just trying to remember. You need to actually activate a side of grace here uh, before anything happens with Radon. So, lesson learned. Now, third time, will it finally work? And it does. I love it. Thank you, Vicky. What would I do without the Elden Ring wiki? I don't even know. So we're running an experiment now, people. And that experiment is General Radon. Can I do this? Just like the festival, place your bets, place your bets. Um, I legit do not know, by the way. This can go one of several ways. I mean, I found him very easy the first time around. Insanely easy. To be fair, I did use the summons that are provided to their max potential and sort of my thought on this is why would you not use them to their max potential? That's how the battle is meant to be fought. But you know, I am very weak and that's sort of always the counter to anything and yes, I see where the grace is. But you know, nothing can progress until you try. And the reason I really, the only reason I'm doing all of this is I want to get the summon that I'm really shooting for, the spirit summon. So yeah, that's about it. This is very cool. I like when they add cinematic moments in to the Souls games. I feel like it's something that's not required, but very much appreciated. Hello there. Thank you for giving me the gesture. What a blade. Oh, wh wh where was I supposed to meet him? That, that is a different dialogue, right? I didn't have Rani's thing activated uh, when I first came here. I feel like I'm the least impressive look. No, no, she is the least impressive looking. <laughs> okay, never mind. All right, Gail, chill out. Cool. Hey, Pot. I'm gonna try doing his quest line, by the way. Don't worry, I'm gonna summon you and you're gonna probably end up dying, but it's all good. Let's get this show on the road. Again, I have my doubts on whether this is actually gonna succeed. Let's talk to Slave Knight Gale. This is a badass cutscene. Of course, we'll watch it. 
I mean, just imagine how much time they spent pre-rendering this, so... That horse, though. At least it makes sense in lore why it's like that. I thought it was just goofy, but it's not. I think that is probably the most like cinematic intro any of the demigods get. Cool beans, heartening cry indeed. Oh, am I gonna get to fight him at night? That's a that's a new situation. A new situation indeed. It's gonna make things a little bit more cinematic. And I'll take my smithing stone six. Wish it was somber, but it but it ain't. Should I just look out where to get smithing stones? <laughs> like that's Oh fuck, I forgot to switch out Shit. I had glintstone That might not be necessary. I think rock sling is the spell of choice here and great glintstone. I mean, Radon is pretty large, so it should be okay. Oh, and I have 23k. I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have done this. Um, I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. I didn't prepare for this at all. Don't worry. Spam it, spam it, spam it. He's spamming, I'm spamming. Don't greet fucking idiot. Oh yeah? I got an answer for you. He's got an answer for me. Mm, I might be slightly in trouble here. Just a tiny, tiny bit in trouble. Because uh, that's 20, 23k souls. And I don't remember if I have one of those branches that can get me out of this mess. That was not the best first Redan fight, I will admit. I have one. Okay. We're gonna use it. The old so the only thing we need to do here is actually get to our shit. I will like test the waters a little bit, don't worry. I mean, okay. Just in terms of like, oh no, it's definitely possible. Like considering this and all my little summons, Look, I'm doing good damage to him. Yeah, this is... Is he really this weak to magic? Wow. Oh, he's gonna rock sling us back. 
Jesus, look, I, I'm not even, I'm not even trying. I'm currently, okay, yeah, fine, fair enough. What I'm doing here and what you're seeing is me putting in, like, actually zero effort. I'm just waiting to die. And I already got him down to half HP. What if we do summon though? Ouch. Cause like... Is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. I think the method to this is... Just get the hell away. Yeah. Okay, we're out of spells. This might be the only reason why this doesn't succeed. See, he has them rock slings though. Just has terrible accuracy. Alright, those rock slings need to trigger, come on. Who is this? Cheap. Come on, Blythe. Is he dead? He's actually... I... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't summon Alexander. <laughs> oh, poor Radon. Oh, poor Radon. I do feel sorry for him. That was... Again... Zero effort. I thought I would just shoot some spells at him and... Um... Just die, you know, and then get out with my souls and all that, but... Didn't turn out that way. So now Radon is beaten. Like, even without the summons, that was pretty piss easy. If I had, like, one more or two more Cerulean flasks, I could have beaten him solo, too. Poor Radon, poor Radon. I know, I know what the deal is. I know that he was nerfed, uh, and then buffed again, and then nerfed again, and then buffed again. So he was changed so many times, but I do know that, like, first release of the game, he was way, way more powerful. All right, we got this. I do like Blight. That moon. That is the fake moon too. As in apparently there's a moon that Rani has, which is... I don't know, I'm not Vati. Cool. What up, Alexander? Thank fuck this doesn't lock, not summoning him doesn't lock you out. A magic spammer. But don't you think I've given up just yet? As luck would have it, there's a veritable mountain of warriors' bodies right here. If I can just squeeze this bunch down inside, I'll be a mighty warrior again in no time. And if really, the bodies found here are exceedingly fine. Who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the shattering? The greatest of all wars. Cool. Just keep doing your weird shit. I, I don't judge. 
Excellent. What we're gonna do is definitely use them souls. That's a nice little, well, five levels. That's not, not as much as I thought. Uh, let's get some more HP and then intelligence. I want to get to this 25 mind. That was my sort of big goal. And yeah, let's piece back into the round table. If I remember correctly, Radan does not have anything. It's his sword and his bow. Uh, yeah, it's his sword and his bow, which means I can use it up without any issues. I don't remember this dialogue. Alright, I, I do remember this dialogue. Uh, so what we're gonna do is, and by the way, I forgot to mention this, but Radon has an absolute badass armor set, the Lion Helm. Everybody uses it. I do know. I wonder if she has any new dialogue. Because she has some, like, she's been whispering, like, sweet nothings into our ear. Let's see, let's see if she does that again. Told you. Weather dagger. Hmm. Oh, that's it? Okay, cool. And I gotta remember to use that Baldekin's best blessing because that HP drain on this character is deadly. Alright, peace out. I do not know what to do with this, by the way, so don't ask. There's one more thing I would like to progress, and it's her quest line. Still? Hmm. I thought that would advance at this point. Well, whatever. Uh, not much really to do other than uh, visit the... Oh, this is actually marked now. This It wasn't marked before, was it? If I remember correctly. And I was having some trouble finding it. Anyways, let's visit the beast clergyman, because why not? That's like a... feel like a... Well, actually, no, I'm out of time. I'm just looking at it, but how the hell did I miss the sacred tear here? Good thing I came back. I might just do the beast, beast, the beast clergyman off screen because I do not need to actually show that. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with him. That's for an eventual faith build. Uh, but for now, what I'm going to do is wrap up this episode here. I feel like this was a fairly successful one. I mean, Radon. Oh man, I kind of feel sorry for Radon at this point. Poor Radon. Yeah, we're, we'll wrap it up here and then continue next time where I might just visit the secret little dungeon in the tutorial area, uh, which I've never actually done. So we'll see what happens. Until then, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of the Elden Ring Sorcerer Guide. If you did, as always, like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And yeah, catch you next time. Peace out.